begin so if you are ready and comfortable find your find your comfortable seat comfortable posture sitting upright with straight spine chin up and then softly gently close your eyes just gently relaxing or easing your body mind and your breath let go and relax Breathe in and out, deep and conscious. Inhaling and expanding our breath in our lower, mid and upper lobes. And exhaling, letting go of our breath from our lower, mid and upper. You can visualize like a warm balloon, like a golden balloon. Within breath, that energy is expanding in your lungs, in each and every part, each and every section. And without breath, letting go and relaxing. Let's see if you all can practice or follow our 6-6 six, six, Sukharedam for a couple of minutes. Breathe out, slowly. In, two, three, four, five, six. Out, two, three, four, five, six. In. Out. 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 And then letting go and relax just to follow or enjoy your inhaling and exhaling breath for a few moments. Gently and consciously taking our hands to heart. Namaskar and then chin down. And if you like, consciously or gently rub your hands, your palms together to warm them up. And a nice conscious soft touch all over your face, your head, your neck and your shoulders. And then gently and slowly open your eyes. Let's begin. Stretch our legs to the front. So yeah, if you are ready, let's stretch our legs to the 
to the front and you can just consciously start to wiggle your toes just wiggling our toes with a conscious sort of gentle movements creating that sense of energy or awareness and flexing your feet up and down if you like yeah good we'll follow a nice sort of conscious gentle class again today and Ideally, I was thinking we all can try to have a little bit of detox from our screen. So either you can, as most practices, we're going to do them really nice and simple. So you can just keep your eyes closed or even some of you might feel if you got something near, you can most of the time you can just tie your eyes. So just like nice and relax. And yeah, practices we're going to do, they're going to be really nice and simple. So we should be able to follow them easily. Bouncing your knees, your legs. Let's catch hold on to our right foot and take our right foot up against our left thigh or on top of left leg. And then gently bounce your knee. And yeah, sorry, I'm just keeping my eyes open so I can still see just to keep eye on the the live video so it still is doing because sometimes it goes funny still keep bouncing your knee keep bouncing your knee try to lift yourself up sitting upright and then catch hold on to your right foot with the right hand and breathe in consciously stretch expand your leg to the front and breathe out release bring your foot up towards your stomach or your sacral area and then breathe in consciously open your leg out try to follow your own breath and then breathe out release let's try again right leg breathe in stretch straight to the front and then out and release and breathe in open out to the side out and release one more straight to the front in out and release side in open out and release and now take your foot up against your left thigh sit straight eyes closed and breathing in lift and lift your arms up as high as you can reach up try to lift your shoulders a little bit more up and breathe out move forward with nice and flat back see how far we can go reaching all the way down maybe we can hold on to our foot if possible or knee or leg and then breathe in take your head up lift your arms up and then gently raise back up Let's again breathe out, fold forward. Breathe in, gently raise back up. And third time, breathe out, stretch forward. Janu Sirsasana, hold here for a minute. Just try to rest in your posture with few conscious breaths. Really being aware or conscious to your own points of stretching or stimulus, stimulating energy. Lovely. Gently bring your head up and consciously raise your arms up. And then let go and release or relax. Let's switch our side. Right leg extended. Take your left foot to the right thigh or on top of your right leg and then gently bounce your knee just creating that conscious loosening up of your hip and your sacral area and really enjoy enjoy your own inner vision with your eyes closed your practice can be quite intense quite more powerful but yeah, it can be actually good just to finding a little bit more going inward and a bit more deeper healing as some of us I find even including me spending too much time on our screen for even these practices. 
So having a little bit more inner detox for relaxing our ophthalmic, our nerves and muscles connecting to the eyes. So guys, hold on to your left foot with the left hand. And then breathe in, stretch and expand, open up. Breathe out, release. Out to the side, breathe in, open up. And out to the release. Again, breathing in, stretch and open. Out and release. Breathe in, open out to the side. Out and release. One more, breathe in, stretch. Out and release. To the side, in, open up. Out and release. Now just place your foot on the floor against your right thigh. Sit straight, your shoulders, your back nicely lifted up and then breathe in, lift your arms up, lift your shoulders up and breathe out, fold forward. Breathe in, gently raise your arms, head and your chest up and breathe out, stress forward. One more, breathe in and out. Hold here for a few moments. Keep breathing, keep breathing and focusing in your own stretching, your stimulating point. Lovely. And when you're ready, breathe in, take your arms up, stretch, and then release or relax. Let's keeping our eyes closed and bringing our feet or soles of our feet together. And then gently bounce your knees. Just keep breathing, breathing and breathing conscious. With eyes closed, your, your focus, your, your mind tend to accumulate or the concentration grows much quicker. Now hold your knees there. Let's see if you can just bring both your hands to the in front of your face and start tapping your fingers. Tap your fingers and with eyes closed, try to feel the sensations or some of you might almost feel like there's a spark of energies when or every time your fingers are meeting with each other or maybe the sound of your fingers. Once you can feel it, can we start just consciously or gently tap on our forehead and feel that you're consciously nourishing or nurturing your, your nervous system, your brain cortex area, really relaxing, relaxing any tension, letting go. Keep breathing, lots of side breath if you need. And then consciously tapping around, all around your skull, your head. And keep feeling those sparks of energy, the prana or our subtle values, healing energy, just tapping and directing the energy all around your skull. And bring your hands along your Gently around your eyes, your eyebrows, really softly and freely, just giving that extra love, extra energy to your eyeballs. Coming around your nose, your cheeks, all around. All the way down towards your chin, your chin bones, around your ears. And then come down to your throat, your, your thyroid. Keep breathing and then maybe around coming down, use your palms now, tapping a bit more firm around your upper chest, your collarbone area. I'd like you to consciously try to do a couple of coughs. So you're just coughing out any old tension that you might be holding here. <coughs> Great, come down around your heart, your chest, going all around to the front and side and then come down to your stomach area. 
and feel the tapping with your eyes closed all the way down to your sacral area and then keep going down to your thighs, your knees, all the way down to your feet. And then the back of your thighs, your legs, your hips, your buttocks, and then reaching over as far as you can to the side, left side, and then right side. And then tapping on your right shoulder with the left hand and keep tapping, reaching down to your hand. Keep going, keep going. Stepping, tapping. And then the left hand with the right hand, left, left shoulder, your arm, all around your elbow, front, back of your hand. Keep going. And then the sweep from your hand. Sweep from your chest consciously, your legs, your buttocks. Also gently sweep from your face. Just stick your fingers through your hair just to give it a gentle touch into your hair and your skull and give a really good shake to your hands. Shake your hands, keep your eyes closed. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your head, loosening up your jaw and let's make the sound ah. And just sit quiet for a minute. Just hold on to soles of both your feet and breathe. Okay, lovely. Let's just ease ourselves to take our knees or our legs to the front and let's simply relax. Bounce, bounce your knees and then take your hands on your knees when you're ready. Breathe out and breathe in, raise or lift your arms up. Lift it up and breathe out, stretch forward. And in, chin up and then progressively sit back up. And breathe out, stretch forward. Breathing in, lifting up, and then breathe out, stretching forward. One more, breathe in, lift up, and breathe out, stretch forward, and hold there. With eyes closed, drawing your mind, your energy to flow inward. And I'd like you to again spend a minute in Paschimottanasana and find your own stretch or your focus points. Some of us may feel there is a stretch around our muscles along our leg, maybe our spine, our shoulders, or neck, bit of pressure on our abdominal, pelvic organs, or the union of our upper and lower, pranic and apanic energy, and breathe into it. Lovely, gently bring your head, your chin up, and then take your arms all the way up and over your head. Interlock your fingers, turn your palms inside out, stretch and lift up and hold there for a few conscious breaths. Tandasana. Lifting up your arms and your shoulders as high as you can reach. And gently release, relax, give a nice massage in your shoulder blades if you need or you like, change direction. Okay, so let's, with keeping our eyes closed, can we just consciously find our space? We want to lie down on our left side and your body in a straight line all the way from your head to your feet, your right hand on the floor to the front. So we do a few side stretches to activate our solar or Surya energy. And yeah, keeping our eyes closed if possible. Bring your mind into your right leg, breathe out. Breathing in, raise your leg up. And breathe out, release. 
Breathe in, raise your leg up. And breathe out, release. One more. Breathe in, raise your leg up. And breathe out, release. Okay, head lift. Breathe in, raise your head up. And breathe out, release. Breathe in, raise your head up. Out and release. Breathing in, head up. Out and release. Lovely. Now take your hand on top of your right leg. So still you want to keep your eyes closed if you are comfortable with that. So with in-breath, we want to gently bend our right knee and gradually reach up to find and hold on to your right foot. And breathe in, stretch your leg up as high as you can reach to the sky. And breathe out, fold your leg and stretch your leg back down. So let's do that three times. Breathe in, fold your leg, find your foot, hold and stretch up. Out and release. In and stretch. Out, let go and release. Again, in and stretch. Out, let go and release. Now let's move a little bit. So gently lift your left side up. So where your left elbow comes under your shoulder as we move in our Loma Viloma series. So we're going to do the same again. So breathing in, folding our right leg, hold on to the foot and stretch your leg up. And breathing out, letting go and release, relax. Let's do a few breaths in, hold and stretch up. Out, let go and release, relax. One more, breathing in, catch hold and stretch up. And then out and let go and release. Maybe you can move one more step with your left arm slightly up and straight. And we follow again, breathe in, fold your right leg, hold on to your foot or your leg and stretch it up. Out, let go and release. Two more, breathe in. And out. And one more, breathe in. And out. And then come down into your resting position. So if you like, take your right knee forward on the floor, your right foot rest behind your left knee. And rest here on your folded left arm. Just taking a couple of conscious breaths. If you can, focus your mind all along your right side. Or Surya Nadi Asana, so breathing in and out through the right side. Now we're going to switch our side and as we switch our side, some of you might feel you want to have a quick sip of water. Please do that so. And we're going to change our side. So we're going to move on our right side. So lying straight on our right side, head folded on our left arm, sorry, right arm. Rest here for a moment again with your eyes closed. Make sure your body in a straight line from head to your feet and let's follow the same with our left side now activating and enhancing our lunar cooling and relaxing healing energy left leg breathe out 
in breathe in raise your leg up as high as you can reach and then breathe out release keep following breathe in raise your left leg up and out and release breathe in and up out and release okay and then we follow from here our further stretch so take your left hand on your body so with in breath fold our left leg catch hold on to your left foot with the left hand and stretch it all the way up breathe out letting go and release your leg back down so let's do a few breaths in fold hold on to your foot and stretch up out and let go and release in and out Lovely, let's keep progressing up. So come up on your right arm, your elbow on the floor under your right shoulders, your right side slightly lifted up. And then we follow the same, breathing in, folding on our left leg, holding onto the foot and stretch it up. Breathing out, consciously release your leg and stretch it away. Again, breathe in. out in and out one more in and out and then gently come up with your right arm upright and straight slightly pointing away from your body just to give you that support and we follow again left leg breathe in fold your leg hold on to your foot and stretch it up and breathe out and release in and out in out lovely come down and let your head rest on your folded right arm take your left knee on the floor to the front where your left foot rests behind your right leg and your left hand resting on your body chandra nadi asana i like you to follow a few conscious breaths right through your left side of your body Activating our lunar, our healing, our introverting, calming energy. When you're ready, now consciously roll over. I want you to just find your space lying straight on your back where your body in a straight line all the way from your head to your feet and just take a moment here just to relax or ease your body ease your consciousness Now let's gently draw our feet or our legs together on the floor, palms on the floor close to your body and your head resting on. So we're just going to follow our Ek Padu Pankriya, single leg lifts. So bring your mind into your right leg and breathe out. Breathe in gently, raise your right leg up, two, three, four, five, six. Out and release, two, three, four, five, six. In. Out, release. 
in, lift up, out, release, left leg, breathe in, lift up, out, release, breathe in, raise your left leg up, out and release. One more. Breathe in. Lift up. Out and release. Okay, let's move our energy into our right hand. Ek Padustan Kiriya. Breathe in. Raise your right hand up. Out and release. Breathe in and up. Out, release. One more in and up. Out, release. Left arm, breathe in, lift. Out, release. In and lift. Out, release. In and up. Out, release. Head lift, breathe and lift your head up. Out, release. Breathe in. Out. In. Out. In. And out. Let's see. Can we follow our Pavan Mukta Kiriyas with our eyes closed? So we're going to do with the single legs. So breathe in. Draw your right knee into your chest. And then take your arms around your knee. And bring your head and your knee together. And then breathe out. Head down. Arms and legs stretch back down. In. Out, in, out, left leg in, head and knee together, out and release, in, Out, in, out. Let's take a moment here, a few conscious breaths. Relax your legs, relax your arms. Feel this in, inner strong energy flowing freely. And then both our feet or our legs together. Breathe out. So can we do right leg and right hand, keeping our eyes closed. So breathe out. Breathe in, raise your right leg and your right hand up together. Some of us may be reach, able to catch hold or touch onto our toes. And breathe out, release. Letting go. Let's do two more. Breathing in, right leg and right hand up. Reaching up towards your foot or your toes. And breathe out, release. 
One more, breathing in deep up. Out and release. Let's switch our side, left side. So our left leg and left hand. Breathing in, reach up. Out and release. Again, breathing in, reaching with the left hand to the left foot. Out and release. One more, breathe in. And out. And just take a moment just to feel the much more stronger energy flowing through your body. The sense of calmness. Okay, our next Kriya, now we're going to try to do our right leg and left hand. So working on the opposite right leg and left hand some of us can just lift them up straight to the sky or maybe we can reach up to hold on to our foot keeping your eyes closed breathe out breathing in raise your leg and your hand up to reach up towards your foot or your toes if you can and breathe out release breathe in out one more breathe in out okay so let's follow into our left leg breathe out when you're ready breathe in left leg and right hand up to hold on to your foot or just to stress them lift them up out and release Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Again, just let go and relax for a few conscious breaths. Okay, now take your right knee up towards your chest. So you do a little bit of Kati Chakra Kriya. So your right knee up on towards your chest and then stretch your right arm on the floor away from your body. Take your left hand on top of your right knee. So your left hand and your right knee. And then breathe in. Take your right knee all the way down on the floor to the left side and head looking out to the right and hold there into your Kati Chakrasana. Just want to hold here for a good minute. Breathe conscious. And then let go and release. Stretch your right leg away. Take your left knee up. Take your right hand on your left knee up towards your chest and then take your right left knee all the on the floor to the right side head looking to the left cut it across now and breathe and then release Oh, relax. Stretch your legs away. Just relax for a moment. Now, keep your left leg on the floor and left arm still stressed or extended with your shoulder. And then can you breathe in? Take your right leg up to begin. So, single leg lift. Hold there for a couple of breaths. Then lift your right hand up and reach up to hold on to your foot or your leg or your toes and then breathe there. Can we now consciously ease and let our right leg 
come all the way down on the floor, catching hold on to the right foot and right hand, opening and stretching across your hips, your thigh, and hold there. You can look out to the left hand with eyes closed. And breathe and feel this beautiful geometrical sort of triangles between your hand to your foot and across your spine and also between your legs. And then gently and slowly take your knee up. Let your go of your right arm on the floor and stretch your left leg back down. Right leg back down. Now left leg, raise your left leg up. Ek padutanatna. Single leg lift. Hold here for a few breaths. If you're ready for second step, take your left hand up to arch your left foot. Hold on to your foot or your leg. And hold there for a few breaths. Further, if you like, now gently take your left leg all the way on the floor out to the left side, head looking to the right, and breathe there. Gently take your leg back up and then release it down. Release your arms back down. Relax here for a moment. Now, with eyes closed, can we just bring our hands into Namaskar Mudra to your heart for a minute? Keep your feet, your legs engaged and slightly stretch or point your toes away. And then breathe, breathe into your heart. Feel your toes connected to your breath right through the muscles or the new nerves through your legs. Now take your hands to your forehead. Now can we take our left hand first and then right hand on top of it. I just want to bring our hands into Garuda Mudra. Your hands, your palms resting against your forehead. And just breathe here. And gently ease yourself. Bring your hands back to your forehead again. So take your right hand first and then left hand on top of it and thread your arms to each other to come back into Garuda Mudra. Again, your hands on your forehead and then breathe. And gently release, ease your arms and then stretch them nice and stay down on the floor. Relax your legs, your feet. And our last period, a few rounds of our Setu Pranayama, just to allow the energy to flow freely. So take your knees up, bring your feet or your heels on the floor, close to your buttocks. Arms extended down and then breathe out. Now consciously breathing in, raise your buttocks, your spine up to lift it up and breathe out, release. Let's do a few rounds. In, lift up. Out and release. In, lift up. Out, release. One more breathe in, lift up. Out, release, and then relax. Stretch your legs nice and straight. Just give a really nice conscious bouncing of your knees. Just bounce your knees, wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, closing and opening your fists. 
And then just simply tap your feet against each other, also tap your palm, palms really consciously and consciously stroke your hands on your face and your head or your hair, cross your chest, your arms, just sweep along, sweeping any stress or any sort of negative energy away. And then it will be time to consciously let go. So find your space lying straight in Savasana for a nice deep long relaxation. And again I'm going to guide you all through. So once you all make that space, I'm going to guide you all through a long breathing session. So we'll do our all four parts of our Sukha Urvak Pranayama. But yeah, find your space, lie comfortably. If you can, make your space with head to the north and feet to the south. Will help a little bit more deeper healing. Your hands can be resting on your knees or maybe on your lap. Just consciously eyes closed. Let's begin our breathing if you are all are ready. So the first point, can we all consciously bring our mind into our sacral area, our pelvic area, across our Swadhisthana, think just the points between both your hip bones, all across your pelvic cavity. We're just going to do our Sukha rhythm to activate the energy in this field. Balancing our water element. Breathe out slowly. In, two, three, four, five, six. Out, two, three, four, five, six. In. Out. In, out, in, out. In. Out. Now from your pelvic area, moving your mind up into your abdominal or your solar plexus area. And we change our breath or pranayama into our loma rhythm. So breathe out, mind focused into your stomach area, slowly, in, two, three, four, five, six, hold, two, three, four, five, six, out, two, three, four, five, six, in, Hold. Out. In. Hold. Out. In, hold, out, in, 
in all out in all out Let go of breath for a few moments and as you're letting go, now consciously bring your mind up into your heart, your chest, your anahata area, healing our feelings, our emotional well-being, our air elements. So here we have the Viloma rhythm, in, out, hold out, breathe out, slowly, in, two, three, four, five, six, out, two, three, four, five, six, hold, two, three, four, five, six, in, out, Hold. In. Out. Hold. In. Out. Hold. In. Out. Hold. In. Out. Hold. Again, let go, release, relax for a few moments. If you are still following with me, I'd like you to consciously bring your mind now or take your mind into your root, your base of your spine, your root center. And here we have the complete breathing, Sukha Purva Pranayama for our earth element. In Hold, out, hold. Let's begin. Breathe out. Slowly. In, two, three, four, five, six. Hold, two, three, four, five, six. Out, two, three, four, five, six. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, 
ici. Fold. Out. Fold. In. Fold. Out. Hold. In. Hold. Out. Hold in hold out hold and now it's just time to let go let go just let go of your body let go of your breath your mind and just be aware to this beautiful this inner sensations feel like this this lightning beautiful bright crystals just flowing through your body this pranic energy Just consciously nurturing your nervous system, your brain, just releasing and healing any form of lethargy or maybe overexertion that we might have caused to our nervous system, especially our eyes, our ophthalmic nerves. Feel these conscious vibrations of our Siv Tattva, the Siva element, the essence of our pure consciousness and pure prana, resonating, vibrating and dancing through each and every cell of your body. Letting yourself to be fully absorbed into this energy, into this vibration. And this essential, this primordial vibration, to stay in your relaxation. I would like to chant three rounds of our Brahmri, our Mahaprana, that is the sound of our primordial prana through our spine and our pranic body, the humming sound. Mm. So breathe in deep. Mm.
letting go. And from this letting go space, enjoy your conscious relaxation as long as you need. Some of you might feel you're just ready to wake up. You might just feeling fully charged up. So if you feel waking up, then start to wiggle your toes, your feet, your fingers. Gently stretch your arms over your head. Give a nice waking up stretch. And then consciously drawing your knees into your chest. Roll side to side a couple of times. And gradually roll onto your left side with your right side up. Taking a moment and when you're ready, come up to seated position into Namaskar Mudra. And we chant three beautiful ohms. Let's see if you can create this strong healing, resonating vibration to connect us all together. So breathe in. Consciously open your eyes when you're ready. Thank you very much, everyone.